I've been living on this ship for one year and one month and I have traveled the entire world. It still feels really crazy to say that I've done a world cruise and I really want to have a sit down video so I can wrap up my whole experience and let you all know what I think. So I am a singer dancer working on a cruise ship and I am very fortunate to be working on the Regent Seven Seas Mariner and this past year we did the world cruise where we spent 209 days on board, 125 days in port, 84 sea days and we visited 56 countries. That's insane. So as you may know, this is actually my second contract on this ship, which is why I say that I've lived here for over a year. It's been very overwhelming, to say the least, to have traveled to all the places I've been in such a short amount of time, and I still don't feel like I've really comprehended exactly what I have just done. It has been one of the most incredible experiences, I think, I could ever have in my life. I really don't know if I could have ever done this kind of trip if I didn't work for this company. I use the word grateful a lot and there's probably a better word for this but every single day I am beyond grateful to have this incredible job that takes me around the world and I get to perform. Really it's just the best. I don't even know where to begin because there's just so much going on in my brain regarding the world cruise. It was just like incredible. Some of the best experiences I've ever had in my life were on this contract in various parts with dear friends and when I was lucky I got to share them with my partner as well. I experienced things that I never thought I would and I hope I never ever forget them. I just cannot believe all the countries I've been able to tick off. It's quite insane um, and a bit overwhelming like I said because a lot of these places we only visited for one day so I really think even just for myself this is going to be nice to sort of review everything I've done and really share with you how it's felt and yeah just go down memory lane I just can't believe all the things I've done in the past six months it's actually crazy so I guess I'll just go through the cruise so we started off in Miami and we circled around the entire continent of South America. Then we started the world cruise and we first did 10 days at sea and sailed across to French Polynesia with a quick stop on Easter Island which was definitely one of my many highlights of this experience. The fact that I've been to Easter Island like that is just such a random island quite literally in the middle of the ocean. Not a lot of people can say they've made it there. Even via cruise ship, I've heard many stories that the tendering couldn't work because of bad weather, but we were extremely lucky. We had the most beautiful day ever. The entire ship was just so happy that day. All the crew got to get off and see the island and all the guests got to see it and it was just such a unique an incredible experience, all the rich history and myths and legends about the island. It was just so, so cool to be there and to see all of the big statues in the grass. <laughs> it was just really, really like a once in a lifetime experience for sure. And I feel like I'm going to be saying that a lot. So then we of course went to French Polynesia, which is one of my most favorite places to be. This is the second time I visited this part of the world. My very first contract took me there. And even going back, it's just one of my favorite destinations. It is so gorgeous. The pictures don't even do it justice to be standing there on the beach and staring at the outline of the Bora Bora mountain. It's just breathtaking. And the locals there are so friendly. And every time I go, there's something amazing to do. I'm never bored when I go to French Polynesia. I experience horseback riding in the ocean, which was one of my favorite highlights as well with my dear friend Taylor. We also did an incredible hike with one of the best views I've ever seen. Seriously, I'm still shocked when I see that video. And of course, the day that my friends and I rented a boat in Bora Bora and we had a private tour going around to different spots to snorkel and then we made a stop on the most beautiful beach I think I've ever been on. I really wish we could have stayed there longer. And the coolest shark snorkeling experience I've ever had. I was really scared to get in at first 
but I'm so glad we did. The water was so deep blue and there were sharks everywhere, but it was the coolest thing. It was so peaceful. Oh, that is definitely like at the top of my list of highlights from the world cruise. We started to sail through more of the South Pacific Islands on our way to Australia. And one of my highlights from this part of the world was definitely when we went to Vanuatu, which this is also the second time I've been there. So I took all of my friends in the cast to the Blue Hole. There's a few Blue Holes on the island, but this one is my favorite. There's this really beautiful deck that you can swim off of and the water's just so amazing. We just had such a fun day as a cast hanging out and it even started to rain. We didn't really care, obviously we were swimming and already wet. So it just kind of made our experience that much more cool and unique, but that was definitely a highlight for me. And we made our way up to Australia. We didn't stop in the most amazing places in Australia. So we were in Cairns and Darwin, which are more just your basic city, which is very nice to experience, especially when you're going to such exotic places. So, you know, there's food and pharmacies and shops that you kind of are more familiarized with from back home. So that's always nice to experience on a very long contract. Then once we were done there, we headed up to Asia, which I was the most excited about because that is a part of the world I have never been to before. And I think after this whole experience, it is one of my favorite and I am dying to go back. We spent a lot of time in the Philippines, which had some gorgeous, gorgeous beaches. We had an incredible day in Hong Kong. We were very rushed to try to see as much as we could, but it was so cool to see how the Chinese culture and the city mesh together. Yeah, I have a lot of visual memories from Hong Kong that I think will stick with me for a while. It was just so cool and beautiful. One of my most favorite places that I've been to in Asia has to be Taiwan. It was just so unexpected. I didn't really know what it would be like going there, but our ship arrived in port a night early. So we actually got to go to the famous Keelung night market, which I think is definitely the top highlight of Asia for me. I got to see all this incredible street food. Some of it was a little funky and weird, like all the octopus and stuff, but I had some amazing noodles and it was just such a cool experience to be there and just really feel submerged into the Taiwanese culture and the people there were just so friendly. I just, I really, really enjoyed it and it's somewhere that I would love to go back to. I feel like there's so much more to discover on that island. Then we also went to Vietnam and we saw Ha Long Bay which was stunning. I feel like this is going to get repetitive. I'm just going to keep saying how everything was so amazing, but Halong Bay was just so unique. All of the rocks and hills poking out of the water. It was just breathtaking to see, and that's another place I wish I could spend more time. Another favorite memory, we went to Thailand, and Taylor and I did the coolest thing. This is definitely, I know I keep saying this is at the top, but this one is at the top for sure. So in Phuket, Thailand, we fed and bathed elephants. Yeah, like massive elephants. That was the coolest thing I've ever done. Like I, I don't know if I'm gonna do anything cooler than that. They were just so big and beautiful and we fed them watermelon and then we gave them a big mud bath and then we scrubbed them down in a pond and washed them off in the shower and it was just so incredible to be next to them and they were so comfortable with us and just walking about and just standing there i was just in awe the whole day so if you're ever in phuket thailand i highly recommend going and we made our way to india which unfortunately i did not get off the ship there i lost my voice in saigon yeah i had to stay in my cabin and focus on getting better so unfortunately i missed india so that's on my list to come back because that i'm sure i would have absolutely loved it as well a place that really surprised me too was muscat oman again i didn't really know what to expect but i found it one of the most beautiful little cities Cities. Just the harsh rock landscape in the background contrasting with all the white buildings. And again, there's a lot of culture there that was brand new to me. So many interesting things to look at and experience. I really, really enjoyed my time there. Then we made our way to the Seychelles, which is another gorgeous, gorgeous part of the world. 
similar to Bora Bora, except for here they have these giant boulders all in the beaches, and it is so gorgeous. I had such a lovely day with Taylor. We rented bikes, and we biked around the island and stopped at a few beaches along the way, and it was just so relaxing. I have vivid memories of being there and wanting to stay way longer than one day, but yeah, the Seychelles was just stunning stunning and then we went to madagascar which is another crazy place to be able to say i've been to yeah we went to a little area at the top of the island and i went on a guest tour that day just to make sure i could see all of the interesting things and we went to this gorgeous sacred tree and there were these beautiful women singing outside yeah it was just really cool to see their beautiful culture and family and their oneness with each other. It was just really special and I'm so, so, so grateful that I got to go there. I didn't get to see any lemurs though, but maybe next time, if there is a next time. <laughs> then we made it to South Africa, which is another place that's at the top of my list. It was so incredible. I was so fortunate to be able to go on a guest tour to a safari where I saw wild lions, rhino, and zebra, and many other incredible animals. It was truly an amazing experience. I would love to go back and experience one of the places where you stay overnight and you do game drives in the morning and night. I think that would be really, really cool to experience, as this one was just sort of a little afternoon, but that was just so cool. And then obviously Cape Town. I loved that there was so much nature and mountains and beaches all right packed into where the city was. It was so cool and I feel like there's lots to explore there as well that I didn't exactly get all the time to do. But we did go up to Table Mountain and we had the best luck with weather. It was the most perfect clear day. So that was definitely a highlight. Then we made our way up the western side of Africa and we stopped in Namibia which is another one of my highlights of the cruise. We rented 4x4s and drove through the sand dunes, and it was out of this world. I felt like I was on a movie set or a different planet or Tatooine, something like that. It was so cool, and I got to do it with a bunch of my friends in the cast and Andrea, so that was really special. Then we made it to the Canary Islands and Spain, and that was also beautiful as well. A nice way to wrap up the end of the contract and the world cruise. I just can't even believe all of these places I've been to, seriously. Even saying them out loud, like, I can't stop smiling because it's just, like, so crazy that I did this for my job. Like, I got paid to do this. How does that make sense? <laughs> it's just really mind-blowing that this whole ship just like sailed around the world and we were just on it and we just kept getting on and off and on and off but like I still have a hard time contemplating all the places we've been and explaining it to people when I get home is gonna be really hard because there's just so much like we just did so much final thoughts let me see I have learned a lot about myself throughout this process throughout the world cruise a lot about traveling. I learned about the types of places that I enjoyed more than others. Not really much of a city person, which I knew before, but now I'm I'm much more sure of it based on my favorite places that we went to versus a lot of my friends. That was just interesting to discover and I did actually do a few solo trips, which I wasn't expecting to do, but I'm really glad that I pushed myself to do that. If you've been following me for a while, I filmed my very first solo trip in Lisbon and posted that, and that was a hard trip for me. I really don't love being alone, so that was my first little taste of it. It was only two weeks, so these few days, it still wasn't super easy for me, but I'm really glad that I tried it. I really did enjoy myself while I was there. And of course, I think we all know how ships work, that you dock in port and you have that day, and then you all come back and the ship leaves to the next place. That can be a bit challenging, especially when we're set to see so many places and you only have one day in each place. It goes by really fast and it's really hard to experience the culture in that area of the world with just being there one day. So that's challenging, but I kind of see it as like, okay, I've, I've seen all these places and now I know, okay, like I said before, I loved Taiwan and I loved Asia. I really need to go back there and travel more. And now I've already sort of experienced it. So 
going there for the first time, it won't be so shocking or different. I'll already have a little insight going forward to visit that place, which I think is cool. And some extra cash that I didn't exchange <laughs> that I could probably spend. I also really challenged myself to vlog the entire thing, which I think was a lot more work than I thought it was going to be. I couldn't not capture all the things that I was about to do. Looking at the itinerary going forward, I was like, there's no way I can miss any single day of this because it's just all going to be so incredible. How could I not capture all these memories? Just not even for YouTube, but just for myself and to be able to share the experience with my friends and family. But yeah, that was a lot. There's a lot of stuff on my hard drive that I have not yet even touched, but I think it was a good challenge for me and I've always wanted to try YouTube and... I thought, okay, this is the perfect opportunity because I'm about to do, like, the coolest trip ever. As a performer, though, I don't know if I loved the World Cruise itinerary on the performing side because these same guests are on board for five months. Yes, they stay and live on the ship for five months straight. And we keep repeating the same shows that we're performing. Hopefully they're gonna figure out a solution for this going forward, but it just is a bit disappointing for us as performers because not that many people come watch our show and we still love to be on stage but it's just not really the same excitement as having a new audience every time and having the theater full every time so you know that was a bit different but it's like the give and take I got to experience the world did perform as often as I wanted to, but I still have the rest of my life to perform, so it's a fine sacrifice, I think. And I think I want to wrap up this video by saying that if you want to work on a cruise ship, I highly, highly, highly recommend it. I think it's the coolest job in the world. I mean, you get to live on this beautiful ship and get paid. You don't pay for food, you don't pay for the water, you don't pay for where you stay. You get to perform, you get to meet incredible people. Like some of the people I've met in my cast are some of my now best friends and I met my boyfriend on the ship too. And some of the incredible guests I got to share experiences with too. And all the travel, all the places that I've been via work. I was working, but I got to get off for the whole day on Bora Bora. Like, it's just, it's really incredible. And you learn and grow so much as a person. There were obviously lots of challenges that came with the world cruise. Just the fact that, you know, your whole life is on this ship. All the drama, all the highs and lows. You're with the same crew for long periods of time. You become a little family and you experience so many things together. It's really a great way to grow and learn more about yourself. If you're a performer and you're interested in getting on a cruise ship, don't give up. Keep going to auditions. Keep trying because it really is, like, I think the most incredible job. Especially right out of school. It's an amazing way to pay off that student debt if you have any and to really save up. Don't give up on your dreams keep trying and if you have any questions at all about ship life please leave them below i would be more than happy to help you out it was actually kind of cool on this two-week handover i met a girl who's in the cast now who found me via youtube and instagram and we've been texting a lot before she came here and now we finally met in person and it was just so fun and she's amazing and I hope her the best in her contract. Something else that I kind of want to touch on is like as amazing as everything was, there's obviously going to be tough times emotionally and you know after traveling for so many months every single day is like a new exciting day, it can get really exhausting and it's hard to keep up and you kind of feel like you have travel burnout if that's a real term. As incredible as everything is and as grateful as I am, there's obviously days where you don't feel like getting off or you just want to lay in bed and you just want to relax and be like a regular person and have your Sunday off or whatever, but it just doesn't really exist on ships and especially a world cruise where you're just go, go, go. So it can be really exhausting and there's definitely periods of downtime and of course up times. I just told you all of my up times, but I'm just letting you know there were definitely down times where I was in my cabin and I was just like, ugh, I don't feel like getting off today. Yeah, I think that's all of my reviewing of the World Cruise. It was just a once-in-a-lifetime experience, and I am so grateful that I got to do it, and I cannot wait to go home and see my friends and family and try to explain to them how it went. <laughs> but I want to leave you guys with an update of what I'm doing next. I have decided not to take any more ships with Regent, 
and it has nothing to do with them. I've absolutely loved working for this company. They treat us very well here and I've loved everyone that I've gotten to meet and work with. But I think for my career and my passions as a performer, I'm really wanting to reach out into more musical theater based shows. The ones that we perform on the ship are more of the variety style where this is all country music and there's not really much of a storyline but here's a bunch of amazing songs and really cool dances and a really cool set. I'm really craving that storyline and being a character and acting and really singing and dancing at the same time. Basically, I just want to be in a musical. I want to move back home and try to start chasing my other dreams. I've got a lot of them, probably too many of them, but... Yeah, it just feels like the right thing to do. I feel like I haven't really had the chance to do that either because as soon as I graduated from Sheridan College, I auditioned for this company the weekend I graduated and then a week later got offered the job. So I've literally just been here my whole professional life. So I'm definitely very excited to venture out into some new auditions and new opportunities. It's obviously really scary. <laughs> as a performer because once this is over I'm unemployed again and I don't have any guarantee or any contracts lined up but it feels like the right thing to do and I'd rather my life be unpredictable and exciting than to just keep accepting contracts here and doing kind of the same thing over and over again but yeah we'll see what happens and I'll of course keep you posted you know obviously I've loved being able to film my ship life experience and I hope you've enjoyed it too and it's not to say I won't go back on a ship but if I'm gonna go back on a ship it's gonna be a ship with an amazing musical I've also really would love to work for Disney so I don't know. We'll see what happens, but I trust that what's meant for me will come for me. I will leave with that positive note, and yeah, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for coming along the world cruise journey with me. If you've been watching my videos since the beginning, I really appreciate you. And if not, they're all still there on my YouTube if you want to check them out. There's quite a lot of them from different places around the world. I hope you have a great day day, weekend, night, wherever you are in the world, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!